Rich Lowe, Pilot Legacy, on site of the Grassdale Manor, Texas, Friday, 29 July, 2022, two years, four weeks post-groundbreaking. Well, the Grassdale is complete. We made it. This will be our final video report on the Grassdale's construction. I'm happy to report the last of the outstanding appliances for building Kilo have been installed and we passed the fire marshal's building inspection. And just yesterday, we received Kilo's certificate of occupancy, the last of the COs we needed across the community. Sodding and hydro mulching have taken place around the southern detention pond. And next week, that portion of the perimeter fence between Kilo and Water's Edge will be installed. Once the perimeter fence is complete, residents will be permitted to move in. The final testing and adjustments to the detention pond fountains are underway, and the fountains are expected to be up and running next week. And we even have our Amazon delivery lockers decorated with our Grassdale war paint. Nice. Of course, there are still a few warranty items in and around the property we'll be cleaning up in the days and weeks ahead, such as damaged concrete, paint touch-ups, random tubes protruding from the ground, and the like. We're also still working with TxDOT to install the traffic light at the intersection just in front of the Grassdale, as well as working closely with our commercial broker, the Weitzman Group, to find excellent tenants for the two commercial parcels just in front of the Grassdale. With HEB and Lowe's coming in across the street and caddy corner to the Grassdale, the frontage parcels are sure to attract great businesses as the city of Maynard continues to grow. Our community manager, Miss Alma, has reported continued robust interest in the Grassdale. To date, we have 213 units occupied with 46 additional leases inbound. That puts us at 80.9% of capacity, well ahead of where we were projecting ourselves to be currently. We were projecting fully stabilized occupancy by December, but based upon the current demand, we believe we'll be able to reach that goal by October. Now, because the Grassdale is a HUD 221-D4 project, there is strict oversight by HUD to ensure the property is fully stabilized and cash flows are adequately servicing debt, taxes, and other financial obligations. Once the Grassdale has passed all the final HUD checklists, we anticipate investor distributions to commence as early as spring of 2023. Now recall we kicked off this project in concept in the spring of 2018. Pilot Legacy recognized the excellent potential of Maynard and led the pack in bringing one of the nation's first successful qualified opportunity zone ground up developments to the market. We traveled to Opportunity Zone tax conferences in Washington, D.C. And, and Denver, Colorado, as well as capital raising events in New York and Connecticut. We were met with great challenges as well as tremendous encouragement along the way. We broke ground on July 2nd, 2020 in the early stages of the COVID event. But just two weeks later, we found out that Elon Musk's Tesla was going to be moving in next door. A phenomenal stroke of good fortune in the wake of all that was going wrong around the world. Then in February of 2021, we welcomed in the Polar Express and the ERCOT power outages across the state of Texas. And let's not forget the supply chain challenges from beginning to end. We want to thank Callaway Architecture and Strategic Construction for their guidance, expertise, friendship, and above all, a job well done. And on behalf of your entire team at Pilot Legacy, we want to thank you, our investors, for your faith in us and for your willingness to participate in this great project. Now, with that said, let's make some money. This is Rich Lowe signing off from the Grassdale in Maynard, Texas. we believe we will reach our goal by October. Because the Grassdale is a HUD 221-D4 project, there is strict oversight by HUD. <laughs> really? Show up right in the middle of my last video?